Women's health care rights is one thing drawing people to the polls this election. This after Texas enacted one of the most stringent abortion laws in the country. It does not include exceptions for rape or incest. But tonight we're learning more about the impact of the law on women who want to be pregnant but face potentially dangerous circumstances. KXN's Grace Reader spoke to one woman who was 18 weeks along when she was told a miscarriage was inevitable. She almost lost her life because she couldn't get the medical intervention she so desperately needed. Amanda and Josh Zorowski have been trying to have a baby for more than a year now. So when Roe versus Wade was overturned and Texas's abortion law went into effect, they didn't think they were going to be directly impacted. That's until Amanda experienced complications in her pregnancy that meant an inevitable miscarriage and a threat to her life. Because of Texas's abortion law, Amanda had no choice but to wait until she had a miscarriage or was sick enough doctors thought she could die. I was struggling enough with the news that I was going to lose my daughter, but then on top of of that knowing that I was going to have to wait for days or weeks until the ordeal could be over. It felt cruel. A few days later, Amanda got an infection and was finally sick enough doctors deemed an abortion medically necessary to save her. I've seen her in plenty of different shapes in her life, um, both the good stuff and the bad stuff, and this was the scariest moment for sure. An OBGYN at the Austin Regional Clinic says while Amanda is not her patient, she sees this happening. The biggest problem and the reason that she had kind of an inevitable uh, miscarriage is because the, the sack of waters ruptured when the fetus was pre-viable. This is something that comes up frequently in the world of obstetrics. So Amanda's story is not surprising to me. It's not unique. So what's being done? In an interview with WFAA, a Dallas station, Texas Governor Greg Abbott addressed situations like this one, saying in part, there have been some comments and even maybe some actions by some doctors that are not taking care of women who have an atopic pregnancy or who have a miscarriage. And that's wrong because neither of those two are abortions. Abbott said the law needs to be clarified, but to get that done, he pointed to the Texas legislature, which doesn't meet for months. We asked why he hasn't called a special session to address the issue and did not receive a response. I don't know an obstetrician that wants to be the first person to face felony charges. At what point can we act is the question. For Amanda, that question mark for doctors could have huge implications on her family's future. She's still waiting to see if the lasting impacts of her infection will strip her of her choice to get pregnant again. It feels infuriating because it feels like I may have been robbed of the opportunity to carry my own children in the future. And it didn't need to happen and it could have been prevented. Grace Reader, KXAN News. And all the best to that couple. They say that people ask them why they didn't get on a plane or get in a car and go to another state for this procedure. They say sepsis sets in so fast. If they had done that, it could have been a death sentence for Amanda.